Hi everyone, my name is Julie Reynolds, AKA Nurse Jar. In this training video, I'll be demonstrating to you how to perform the ProMetric testable skill, assist the person needing to use a bedpan. This skill is performed on a live person. However, for training purposes, I will be performing this skill on a mannequin. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm going to do are my opening procedures. So I'm going to knock on the door, greet and address the resident by both name and title, introduce myself by both name and title, and explain the procedure and do some quick safety checks and provide the person with privacy. Good morning, Mrs. Jones. How are you doing today? Awesome. My name is Julie. I'm your CNA and today I'm going to help you with the bedpan. But first, I just want to make sure your bed is in a low safe position and it is. I'm going to check to make sure your bed wells are locked and they are. Here's your call light. Just press this button if you need anything. I'm going to go pro provide you with privacy by closing your privacy curtain. So now you have gotten all of your initial indirect care skills completed. Mrs. Jones, is there anything else I can get for you before I go wash my hands and gather my supplies? Okay. Washing hands. What I'm doing now is this overbed table has will, so I'm going to take it with me where I need to go. The first item that I'm going to collect is going to be a chucks to use as a clean barrier on top of my table. I'm going to collect another chucks to use as a linen protector, two pairs of gloves, wet wipes, toilet paper, and a standard bedpan. I'm going to bring this table closer to the camera so you all can see how I have my items organized. They're organized in a manner on which I will need to use them in the exact order. Okay, so this will help me determine what step or what action I need to take next. So first I have my gloves because I need to put gloves on before handling or placing the linen protector underneath the person. So I have that, my chucks next. Then the next step would be for me to place the bedpan. The next step would be for me to leave the hand wipes or wet wipes and roll of toilet paper for the person to use. And then the next step I would need to put on gloves before I remove the bedpan. So if you are able to, it would do you so much justice to organize or set up your supplies in the exact order in which you are going to use them. All right, Mrs. Jones, I have all of my supplies. What I'm going to do next is raise the level of the bed to a comfortable working height for me. With Prometric, Body mechanics are emphasized greatly. So if you need to raise the level of the bed to a comfortable working height for you, do so. Okay, Mrs. Jones, I think that is at a good height for me. Now I'm going to place or put on or don my first pair of gloves. Mrs. Jones, I'm going to get ready to place a linen protector underneath you so I won't dirty up your sheets, okay? What I'm doing is I'm placing the linen protector on the bed. I'm opening it up, and I'm going to roll it away from me, okay? Just rolling it up. 
and I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to lift Mrs. Jones's sheets and her gown. Mrs. Jones, I'm just going to lift your sheet and your gown, okay? What I'm doing is I'm putting the linen protector in place where it needs to be. It needs to be completely underneath the buttocks and peri area. There we go. Now, for the live person, all you would need to do is instruct the person to raise their hips so you can then place the linen protector in the bed pad. Because I'm working with the mannequin, I'm going to have to manually raise the person's hips, okay? Mrs. Jones, um, if you could, raise your hips for me on the count of three. One, two, three. Awesome, and I'm just rolling the chucks up underneath you. There we go, awesome. Okay, I'm just checking to make sure that I have the chucks completely underneath your buttocks and your peri area. The next thing you'll do, need to do is to place the bedpan. Now, you have to place the bedpan correctly. The bedpan has a narrow end and a wide end. The narrow end needs to be facing the footboard while the wide area will be facing the headboard. All right, Mrs. Jones, again, if you could raise your hips, okay, on the count of three, and I'll place the bedpan. One, two, three. Awesome job. There we go. Just want to make sure that your sheets and gown are not in the bedpan. That is good. Now, you may also place the linen protector in the bedpan by instructing the person to move closer to you and then slowly turning them away from you. So whichever works better for you, okay? It is easier and more convenient just to have the person or instruct the person to raise their hips. Now that I've got the bedpan placed, I'm going to remove my gloves without contaminating myself. I'm going to make a C with one hand, grasp in the middle of the palm, pull that glove off, ball it up in my hand, take two fingers underneath the second glove, pull it over, and immediately dispose of it into the trash can and then immediately verbalize washing hands. Mrs. Jones, I'm going to raise your head of bed now, okay? So I can get you in a more comfortable and natural position to use the bathroom. You're doing okay? Awesome. So what I'm doing is I'm raising the bed to a high Fowler's position. During testing, you can instruct the person or tell the person that they can move around and readjust themselves um, as you're raising the head of bed, okay? Is that good for you, Mrs. Jones? Awesome. Mrs. Jones, I have some toilet paper here and hand wipes for you to use, okay? Now, with the hand wipes, you'll need to explain to the person what the hand wipes are for. Mrs. Jones, these hand wipes or wet wipes are for you to use to clean your hands when you're done. Okay? All right. Are you able to reach these items? Awesome. So these two items, the toilet paper and the wet wipes or hand wipes, have, have to be within the person's reach. It will always be a good thing for you to ask the person if they can reach those items so that NAE will not have any room to question whether or not the person can reach them, okay? All right, Mrs. Jones, I am going to lower your bed back down to a safe position. There we go. You still have your call light in hand. Whenever you're done, just press that button and I'll come back to remove the bed pan, okay? All right, washing hands. Now I'm going to go stand completely behind the curtain. 
Ding, ding. Hi, Mrs. Jones. Okay, so let's get you off of this bed pad, okay? So the first thing that I'm going to do when I come back is I'm going to lower the head of bed. Mrs. Jones, I'm going to lower your head of bed. It's important for you to remember that when placing and when removing the bedpan, the person's head of bed has to be flat. All right, and then I'm just gonna raise the level of the bed to a comfortable working height for myself, okay? And that's good. Now I'm going to don my second pair of gloves. Mrs. Jones, I'm just putting on my gloves so I can remove the linen protector and the bedpan, okay? I'm going to ask you to raise your hips for me on the count of three and I can get those two items removed. Again, for the live person, just instruct them to raise their hips. They'll do it. You can remove the linen protector and bedpan at the same time. Or you can have the person move closer towards you, turn them over uh, to the opposite side while holding on to that bedpan to remove those items, okay? Whichever way is easier and more convenient for you, okay? Um, because I'm because this is a mannequin, I will have to manually lift her hips, okay? Mrs. Jones, I'm just going to roll your sheets up, and on the count of three, if you could raise your hips for me, I'm just gonna grab onto this bedpan. One, two, three, awesome. There we go, and I'm going to roll up this chucks away from me, immediately dispose, into the waste bin. If you used a towel, you will need to dispose of that um, towel into the soiled linen hamper, okay? I used the chucks, so I disposed of it into the trash can. All right, Mrs. Joes, I'm going to go empty your bedpan, rinse it out, and I'll be right back. So now I'm going to empty the contents of the bedpan into the bedside commode or toilet, I'm going to go to the sink to rinse it. I'm rinsing the bedpan. Now I'm going to empty the rinse into the toilet. Then I'm going to dry out the bedpan. I'm going to replace the wet wipes and the toilet paper. I'm going to place them back in storage. I'm going to remove my linen protector or my, excuse me, my clean barrier dispose of it. I'm going to remove my gloves without contaminating myself. Immediately dispose and immediately verbalize washing hands. Okay, Mrs. Jones, I'm just going to get you in a comfortable position here. Just going to lower your bed just a little bit so it can be in a low safe position. There we are. You still have your call light. Your bed wheels are still locked. Would you like for me to open your privacy curtain or keep them closed? Okay, I'll keep them closed for you. Um, is there anything else I can do for you? All right, Mrs. Jones, you have an awesome day, okay? Now I will verbalize washing hands. Skill complete.